Today I wanted to share three items that I bring with me on every run that I think have really improved my experience. So when it comes to gear while running, I consider myself mostly a minimalist. I don't wear headphones, I don't really like to carry around a big armband, I like to have my hands free, I'm not big on carrying hydration with me. I like to keep it pretty simple. In fact, I'm so simple, or I was so simple, that back in the day, in high school, in the beginning of college, I used to run without my cell phone. If I had to have my keys on me, I would just hold my keys in my hand and loop my keychain around my finger, which, though convenient, is a very good way to lose your keys. And if I had to carry my ID, I would just put it in my sports bra, which is also a great way to lose your ID. My biggest awakening that I needed to actually start bringing stuff with me was when I was going for a run in between classes. I was supposed to go for a 30 minute run and it ended up being an hour and a half because I got lost, I didn't have my phone, I didn't have GPS, I couldn't get on the bus because I didn't have anything on me and so I was pretty much stuck in Boston and had to walk back on my own and it was raining and I was late to class. So that's what motivated me to make this first purchase which is kind of an unusual item. It's a Roosport running pouch. It has literally saved my life and changed the way that I run. There's a magnet here which makes it super easy to clamp onto anything. Um, usually what I do is I'll clamp it onto shorts. Um, they have to have a strong elastic waistband. So like on these, I would clamp it on here and it holds onto the waistband. And I can fit my phone in this big pocket here. Back here, if I have to run with my ID, which I tend not to, or any credit cards on the inside of the phone pouch, and it keeps everything protected. And then the pouch on the outside is the perfect size to put my keys in, so I don't have to run with it in my hands anymore and worrying about losing them. I got this actually at a Run Disney event. They were selling them, it was one of the sponsors but I guarantee you can get them online. It's called Roosport and it's an amazing product. This next item is something that I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video already have, but it's something that's really helped me as a runner and is super important if you're somebody who cares about making times or just improving for a race or for a goal, and that is an activity tracker. I have a Garmin and it's fantastic. It does a lot of little funky things. I can look at my messages. I, I can look at my events. I can change music. It notifies me when I need to move more. But the reason that I particularly purchased this one is it's a great activity tracker for all kinds of sports. Biking, which tells you your miles per hour, your distance, your pace for every five miles. Super, super accurate GPS. Has a function for walking and a swimming function. It's a very, very, very helpful device to have. But if you're not looking to drop a huge amount of money, there's so many apps for free that will track any of your distances. Nike Plus has an app, Strava is something that so many people use. For me, having it all on my wrist, being able to watch it as I go without having to take my phone out is super convenient. And this Garmin is my baby. I love it so much and I'm so, so happy to be able to run with it. The last thing that I wanted to tell you guys about is something that I've actually started using quite recently, but wish that I had started using six years ago the first time I ran, and that is a hat. It seems very simple, right? It seems silly to wear one or maybe silly not to wear one. In Southern California, in 90 to 105 degree heat, it's so, so important to have. Number one, it blocks sunburn from your face, but more than that, the actual very functional purpose of this hat is that it keeps sweat from dripping into my eyes. I, probably like most of you, have a huge issue with sweat dripping into my eyes. You're going at a good pace, you're doing a good run, and all of a sudden a stream of sweat goes into your eyes and it stings and you're blinded and you're trying to run and you're rubbing your eye and you're going nowhere and it's the worst. But having a hat that is absorbent and has some kind of sweatband or soft material in the front will save you so much trouble on that front. 
also means you have to put less sunscreen around your face so if you sweat and it drips down it isn't the kind of sweat that's mixed with sunscreen that makes your entire face burn so it's really nice to have if you aren't somewhere where it's super sunny and you would feel a little bit silly wearing a baseball cap what I would suggest in something I actually have for when I'm back home at Boston is wearing a headband. It can be a thermal headband, one that covers your ears. I have a really nice thermal Nike headband that's in storage right now that I like to wear. But it can also just be a thin headband that goes around here and just absorbs sweat. It seems like such a small thing, but it's really made my runs so much better. And it genuinely does keep me cooler and just happier as I go. So those are just three things that I can't run without. But I know you all have your gadgets and gizmos and I'd love to hear about them in the comments and how they make your life better. If you enjoyed this video and want to follow me on my ventures through triathlon and running and athletic feats, please click subscribe. And if you guys enjoyed this, give it a like. And I'll see you next time for some more fun running athletic things.